Hello again, this is Brian Lawson from Brazil. We just wanted to give a quick update about what's going on with our ministry again. As many of you know, for the last two Sundays, we've been uh, passing out Bible lessons to our community and people around us during this coronavirus. Since everything is shut down and all the churches are closed, we wanted to take church to the people. Well, I, I'm just amazed at the reception, at the response, uh, at the way God has used this idea and has blessed our, our uh, uh, efforts to reach the Brazilians here with the gospel. And so uh, we haven't had them turned, up, turned away. As a matter of fact, we printed 200 the first Sunday and we ran out. And then last Sunday we printed 400 and we ran out. And, uh, and so we've, we've had a very good, successful time in, in distributing these uh, Sunday school lessons. So uh, this Sunday we're planning on doing it again. And uh, now this Sunday, got, we got some exciting news about this Sunday, though. Uh, we're planning on uh, printing 400 more Bible lessons, Sunday school lessons. Uh, I'd print some more if I had more people in my family, but we, it's all we can do to get 400 passed out in a couple hours and quickly. And uh, when we get done passing out those Bible lessons on this Sunday, uh, I will be preaching my very first service here in Brazil since we come back into, uh, from the United States. Uh, the last two Sundays we've been invited back to a family's home and uh, I went back last Sunday and I took five Bibles to that home to people that did not have Bibles inside their home and then my wife and family and I uh, spent about an hour and a half almost two hours uh, explaining the gospel to them what it means to be saved how you can know for sure you're gonna go to heaven when you die when you die and, uh, and so, man, we've had an amazing opportunity in this family's home, and the Father invited me back to his home again for this Sunday on Resurrection Sunday, and he's going to invite all of his children, all of his grandchildren, all of his nieces, his nephews, his cousins. He's inviting anybody and everybody he can to his home, and I'm going to go and preach in his home to the entire family about the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what it means to us, the hope it gives us, and the salvation that comes through that. So please pray for us about this Sunday. We're going to distribute 400 Bible lessons, and then I'm going to hold my very first uh, uh, service, my preaching service, uh, since we've been back from the United States this Sunday on Resurrection Sunday here in Brazil. I've had a few questions from friends and family. Uh, aren't you scared about getting the virus? Or are you breaking the law about passing out the, the, the Bible lessons? Well, I, I have a response, and in love I respond, uh, I don't want to get the virus. I pray that my family and I don't get the virus. But we have a strong need, according to the Word of God, to take the Bible, to take the Gospel, to take Jesus to every person in this world. And uh, listen, Jesus died for such a time as this. And D Jesus died for those that had the coronavirus or those that might get the coronavirus. And so, listen, it is in my heart uh, to, to take even more so the gospel to the people that are lost and dying, especially with those that might get this virus and might die a premature death. And so, yes, I'm scared that my family might get sick, but we have a desire to take the word of God, to take the gospel to the lost and dying world around us. Secondly, uh, listen, there are admonitions, there are warnings, there are cautions about going out. As a matter of fact, uh, our cities uh, have just uh, enforced a, a mask. You need to wear a mask anytime you go to the store. And so when I get ready to go into the grocery store, I'll have to put on this mask before I go in. They, they check my temperature uh, here. But you can see here, this place is filled up with people. The very first Sunday, we went out to the streets. There were hundreds and hundreds of people just out in the street socializing. Mo many, many people were flying kites on that day because of how windy the day was. And so they were enjoying their Sunday out in the streets, out in front of their homes, out in their yards, uh, flying kites, and uh, walking up and down the streets. And listen, these people aren't scared about breaking the laws and going out into the streets. And so as long as people are going out and socializing and passing time out in the streets, we're going to go out there and be amongst those people to give the gospel. Every time I come to the grocery store, people are walking out of here with liquor, with alcohol, and this is their time to party. Well, if this is their time to party, this is my time to give the gospel. And so as long as people are taking, uh, are participating in this type of activity, I want to keep taking the gospel to them. 
And uh, just like this one family that we reached, I'm hoping to be able to give the gospel and see people saved inside this home. This is an opportunity to give the gospel. This isn't the time to hide. This isn't the time to be scared of what might or could happen in this world. This is the time to tell people about Jesus Christ. And so that's my response to my family and friends that are concerned and lovingly uh, questioning what we're doing. Hey, we're thankful this virus didn't catch God off guard, uh, but we still have a, uh, the, the greatest command or the greatest commission in the Bible to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And that's what we want to do on Resurrection Sunday. We want to take the gospel to these people and take the opportunity to preach and show them how they can be saved, how they can know for sure they're going to die and go to heaven. Please. Pray for us. We're hoping to reach 400 new homes this Sunday. Pray for us that we can get those Bible lessons to the right homes. Pray for us that we won't get sick. Pray for us that God will give us direction in our steps and direction into places to go. And then pray for our very first services that we're going to be having on this Sunday. And listen, just like I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store, I put John 316 on my homemade mask. Listen, even while I'm going in here to buy some groceries tonight, I'm going to give the gospel out. I've got gospel tracts in my pocket, but everybody that sees me is going to see John 3.16 as I make my way around the grocery store. This is an opportunity to tell the world about Jesus Christ. I hope you'll take advantage of your opportunity also. All right, we thank y'all. We love y'all. Please continue praying for us.